Hi, my name is James with Animals in the Attic Restaurant Division. Even if you don't think you have a rodent problem in your restaurant, every restaurant owner should follow these simple steps. Have you been shut down in your restaurant by the health department for rodent issues? It happens. It happens all over the country. Now, it's time to hit it head on, get a professional, and solve the problem. Make less noise than more, be discreet, and handle the situation. If you had a good business before, do the right thing, and you'll be able to recover. Well, you have rats in your restaurant, and you're wondering, what happens with the urine and the feces? Well, typically it's inside the booth, or on the floor, or in dry storage, on a rack. But the problem is, it creates issues with mostly your team members and your patrons. The baby crawls under the table and touches a piece of feces, let alone eats it, or wipes their hand in urine. They could get really, really sick. It's important you keep your restaurant spotless during this removal process, and at the very end, you decontaminate your restaurant to ensure the ongoing safety of your staff and your patrons. Where do you most often learn about the challenges your competitors are having? Whether it be good or bad, it's coming from one of your purveyors more than likely. The produce guy, the beer guy, the guy who cleans your beer taps, any number of them. Make sure you're discreet in front of them because just as much as they enjoy telling you about other restaurants, they enjoy telling those people about you. Keep it discreet, stop everything when they come in, and resume when they're gone. It'll serve you well. If you have a rodent problem in your restaurant, I'm guessing you probably have asked yourself, what are their favorite foods? Well, the answer is simple. It's anything. And you can cut off everything you think seems delicious, and they're gonna go to something that you would never have thought. Chew a hole through a jug of oil, eat your flour, eat a sweet and low packet, it doesn't matter to them. So you've got to secure your food. Try storage anywhere in the restaurant, right to the sugar caddies on the table. Keep it clean and protect your food to protect your restaurant. Even if you don't think you have any rodent problems, you own a restaurant. And most of them do eventually get a rodent problem. So some simple ways you can check from day to day and look for signs that there is an issue are by checking your dry storage area. Have they chewed through anything? Move the stuff around, don't just look on the outer edge. Often they get in from the back side of the stuff where they know nobody can see them. Then go look around your dining room. Are there droppings inside the booths? Pop off those cushions and look inside. That's where they usually are. Check your bar areas and the shelves that you store liquor on. They'll often go to those. But you have to keep your eyes open and look for those signs. If you have or think you have a rodent problem in your restaurant, give us a call here at Animals in the Attic Restaurant Division. We will discreetly help you as quickly and professionally as we can.